Hi everyone, it's Alan from Dasker Wheels. Now we're going to begin our series of tutorials with the Andromeda Galaxy. Now the Andromeda Galaxy is the most distant object you can see with your own eyes. And it is quite an easy thing to find, especially from a dark sky location. And we have plenty of those in Wales. But finding it is, isn't that difficult at all. All you've got to do is know a few basic constellations and have a little bit of confidence in your own ability and you'll be able to pick it up quite easily. To begin our search for the Andromeda Galaxy, there are, there are a number of ways that you can start from. Uh, the first being the Great Square of Pegasus and the other is the most commonly known uh, constellation in the sky of the Big Bear. Now contained within the Big Bear you have an asterism called the Plough or the Big Dipper or here in South Wales we know it as the Saucepan. But either way we need to locate uh, the constellation of Cassiopeia. And this really does give us a bit of a, a helping hand then in locating the constellation of Andromeda itself and then the Andromeda Galaxy. Now the easiest way to locate Cassiopeia is to use the pointers and find Polaris, the North Star, before looking at the constellation it's attached to called Ursa Minor, co carry on then through to Cepheus, which is like a child's drawing of a house with a nice pointy roof and the rest of the, the house below. And then just to the side of Cepheus, we have Cassiopeia. And we're looking for a one bright star. So we're looking kind of across and then locating the W shape in the sky. Now once you've found the W you would get progress then onto the down slashes and these down slashes actually show you the direction to find the square of Pegasus and once you've found the square of Pegasus all you need to do then is go up to the one star known as Alpha Rats and that star is actually shared with Andromeda. Now, when you look at Andromeda, all you're going to see is like an inverted letter V. But if you can imagine putting a cross to turn it into a capital letter A, then you're going to have the constellation itself. And then using those two stars where you've essentially put the line on, go across to the right, or if it's lying on its side above, roughly the same distance, and you will be able to spot the Andromeda galaxy as a misty patch. Now this misty patch is going to be difficult to see in a built up area. But if you put a pair of binoculars onto that area of the sky, then you will be able to see it. And once you see it, it'll look like a, a misty star. So you'll have this bright central portion to the star and then this kind of fuzziness all around it. But in a dark sky area, you will be able to see the Andromeda galaxy with your own eyes. Again, looking like a very misty patch just off to the side of the constellation itself. But a telescope will reveal its dust lanes and all of that wonderful um, spiral nebula nebulae that the galaxy is famous for. But you'll also be able to spot two dwarf galaxies. One called M32, and that's quite easy to spot in a, a relatively modest telescope. The other is M110. Both can be picked up when photographing. But just looking at this wonderful nebula in the sky, or galaxy as we know it today, it's just a delight. So now you know how to find Andromeda. I hope you get the chance to go out and enjoy it. But the best time to actually see the galaxy is during the autumn and winter months when the constellation is high in the sky. So thanks for listening guys and hopefully you will be able to discover the Andromeda galaxy now. But next time we're going to look at our local star, the Sun. So please join us soon. And um, we'll tell you all about the sun 
in mythology and in its physical form. So take care, clear skies, and see you once again.